here's another completing the square example. So as I said in number six and number seven, your teacher might do this in a slightly different way to me. You must just choose whichever method is comfortable for you. So in my technique, what I like to do is I move the five over to the other side. Then I open up a bracket and I put the X and then I take this number and I divide it by two like that. Then on the other side, I say five because there is a five there. Then I always say plus. Then I open up a bracket and I put this number in the bracket squared. Okay, that's all you need to know. Then um, from this point onwards, it's very easy. I rewrite this part and then I type all of this on my calculator, which is 29 over 4. You can write it at the as a decimal if you want to. That's absolutely fine. And then what I do is I take a square root on both sides because I know that a square root will help me to get rid of the square. Then on the right hand side one, I must say plus minus like that. And so on the left hand side, the square root is going to be gone. So we, it, we're only going to be left with x minus 3 over 2. And on the right hand side, we're still left with plus minus square root of 29 over 4. 29 over 4 is not a nice number, so I'm just leaving it like that for now. Then to get my two answers, I can take the 3 over 2 over, so we're going to end up with this, like that. So our first answer will be when this one is a positive, so I'm going to go 29 over 4 plus 3 over 2, and that's going to give us, be careful not to type the 3 over 2 on your in the square root as well when you're in, on your calculator, and that's going to give us 4.19 if you're using two decimal places, or now we're going to use the minus. So that's going to be minus square root of 29 over 4 plus 3 over 2. And that'll give us negative 1.19. And so those are the two answers for this question.